Last summer, she became the darling of Gotham City, an improbable run from a wild card spot to conquering the field and lifting the US Open title. She has become the face of British tennis and has the potential to dominate the women's game for years to come. Who are we talking about? Emma Raducanu. In this video, we will look at Emma's lifestyle and net worth. Number 6 still adding endorsements, earnings, and net worth in 2022. After the Cinderella run to the US Open title in 2021, every corporation around the world wanted Emma to endorse their product. British Airways added her as a global brand ambassador, and her multi-million dollar portfolio includes luxury brands such as Tiffany & Company, Avion Water, Nike, and Fashion House Dior. In 2022, guess what, folks? She is still raking in the corporate world. On March 7, 2022, Radakanu took to Twitter to announce her latest partnership with communications giant Vodafone. Emma announced that she will be the ambassador of the tech giant's Play Your Way to Wimbledon campaign. With Vodafone by her side, Emma will work with the Lawn Tennis Association and Wimbledon to inspire budding tennis players. The deal is reportedly worth a cool $3.9 million per year. Later that month, Emma publicly announced on social media that she had netted another high-profile endorsement deal after agreeing on a partnership with Porsche to be an official brand ambassador. The British tennis star shared a photo of her standing next to a white Porsche 911 GT3 and captioned the post, so happy to be part of the hashtag Porsche family as an official brand ambassador. Ready for every moment our journey holds for us. The Porsche 911 GT3 in the picture cost $340,000. My favorite Porsche car is the 911 for sure because I feel like throughout every generation it is so unique and so beautiful in its own distinct way and uh, I feel like it's one of the most iconic cars that are out there. Some critics have voiced their opinion that Emma is not focusing on tennis but her sponsorship deals. However, she rejected that idea by stating, maybe you just see on the news or on social media me signing this or that deal, and I feel like it's quite misleading because I'm doing five, six hours a day of training. I'm at the club for 12 hours a day, but I throw out one post in the car on the way to practice and all of a sudden it's, I don't focus on tennis. I think that is unfair, but it's something I've learned to deal with and become a bit more insensitive to the outside noise. Yes, Emma set them straight and she is all in on her tennis game. Emma earned $2.5 million alone from winning the 2021 US Open. According to the WTA website, she has earned nearly $3.2 million in her entire career and is currently ranked 12 in the world rankings. According to the Sunday Times Rich List, Emma Raducanu is worth nearly 10 million pounds or 12.6 million US dollars. Number 5. Fashion Star After Lighting Up New York With Her Performance Emma's every move is now in the media spotlight and her fashion style has emerged. Days after winning the US Open, Emma attended fashion's biggest night out, the Met Gala. Radakanu was stunning and a monochrome look from the Chanel Cruise collection. I'm in heaven. Yeah, I'm getting ready for the Met Gala, which is pretty crazy to think I'm going. My dress. Like in drama. Statement, I'd say. I'd be loving every second of it. It wasn't the first time she has worn Chanel because she donned a black mini dress from the brand for the US Open trophy ceremony. Radakanu is already proving a fashion favorite, making her debut in British Vogue earlier this month. In the photo shoot, the teenager looked comfortable in Alexander McQueen, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Valentino, like she has been doing it all of her life. In the interview, Radakanu spoke about confidence. She said, I think the confidence comes just from my inner belief. My mom comes from a Chinese background. They have very good self-belief. It's not necessarily about telling everyone how good you are, but it's about believing it within yourself. I really respect that about the culture. Off the court, Radakanu's style is relaxed and very much Gen Z. Simple jeans and baggy cardigans, often with a sporty twist. With beauty, style, and grace, Emma Raducanu is a fashion star emerging before our very eyes. Fun fact, rallies against the garage have paid off. Emma has a whatever it takes attitude to life and dedication to tennis. The COVID lockdown caused a period without any sports competition in the UK. 
The development tours underneath the main WTA tour were put on hold, but even with her high school A-level exams on the horizon, Radakanu would not let that get in her way. One neighbor stated during lockdown she was always playing outside against the garages. The weather didn't stop her either. She was out there, rain or shine. Yes, this young lady deserves an A for commitment. Number 4. Role Model and Remembering Her Roots Emma's stunning performance at the US Open and rise in the sport of tennis made her an instant model for children to chase their dreams. She stated on the topic, I feel like if girls or even boys can see me out there having fun, smiling, and doing things they can really relate to, I want to inspire kids to keep playing. I still find it hard to believe I'm that person. She believes having a positive, can-do attitude has been the key to the dramatic rise and stating, whatever you're doing, try to really enjoy it and have fun. When I'm genuinely smiling and happy, that's when my best results have come. Emma hailed Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, as a great inspiration. On her path to success, Emma has not forgotten what enabled her to get there. After winning her first Grand Slam, she made a surprise move by donating her historic U.S. Open trophy to the Lawn Tennis Association, the group in charge of tennis in Great Britain. Emma stated, I just thought that the LTA have done so much for me, I just wanted them to have it as a sign and a big thank you for everything that they've done for me helping me through the young ages. They played a huge role in my development, so it's a little gift. Yes, the lesson in life, boys and girls, is to remember where you come from to get to where you are going. Number 3. Eating Secrets Emma had a superstitious tournament routine that unfolded organically during her memorable run in New York. One of her routines was to have frozen yogurt at the end of matches in the Big Apple. The other secret meal was to eat poke for dinner every single night for three weeks because she did not want to change things. Even when she had all the time to go out to eat, she would get poke from Uber Eats because that was the routine. In terms of her regular diet, she eats smoked salmon at least three times a day. She admits that she is literally addicted to smoked salmon and has it with every meal. She eats it in any shape or form. She has it plain, has it with eggs, and even with rice. She finds it very versatile. Hey, everyone has their secret food cravings. Number 2. Insane Workout and Routine Standing at 5 feet 9 inches, Radakanu is extremely strong and is a fan of sharing clips of her grueling weight training and gym regimen on social media. In one post, the teen who weighs around 55 kilograms was seen doing a hip thrust with 180 kilograms of weight plus a 20 kilogram bar. The tennis star grimaced as she pushed herself through the strenuous set while her trainer cheered her on. Radakanu captioned the clip, finishing the week strong with some good faces and a nice round number. Happy weekend. The Brits post was flooded with comments including one from fellow tennis player Naomi Brody who wrote, Oh cur, mama, I see those stacks of plates. For a week of training, she would probably wake up and do a good warm up for 20 to 30 minutes. Then she gets on the court for an hour and a half, has lunch, and then goes back on the court for another hour and a half. And then she will probably do an hour, hour and a half at the gym at the end of the day, and then get some treatment to keep her body in shape. Yes, that's a pretty intense schedule. Therefore, she tries to get at least eight hours of sleep, but her nightly goal is actually nine. Whenever she is playing a match, then she aims to get 10 hours because she feels like every advantage helps. She also takes probiotics and does yoga to supplement her physical wellness program. Whatever it takes, right? Number 1. Need for Speed and Sporting Interest Emma has a passion for the motor world. She has visited Silverstone Racetrack to watch Sir Lewis Hamilton win the British Grand Prix in July. Expect to see the teenager at many F1 races in the coming years. Between the ages of 5 and 8, Emma loved go-karting. She started out in a bus garage in Streatham before moving on to a proper track. When she turned 9 years old, she also did motocross. In her spare time, she likes to dabble in both go-karting and motocross, although it feels as if she might struggle to find the time for too much of them after her rise to stardom. The British teenager is also interested in a wide variety of sporting interests including horse riding, tap dancing, golf, skiing, and basketball. Emma Raducanu is a US Open winner, the face of the British, and has mega endorsements. However, she is a fashion star in the making, emerging as a role model, has food cravings, insane workouts, and a need for speed. So what do you make of Emma Raducanu's lifestyle? Do you think she will build on her US Open success and dominate the next era of tennis? Let us know in the comments section, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for premium sports-related content. Until next time.